Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ames and today we're watching LA Confidential. I'm so thankful for all you guys who come and hang out on my channel with me every week. I'm so thankful for all of you. All right, let's get into this thing. Roll tape. To Los Angeles. Oh, Danny DeVito's in this. There are jobs aplenty and land is cheap. <laughs> Life is good in Los Angeles. That's what they tell you anyway. Exactly. Ricky sees the head of organized crime in these parts. He runs okay. dope. Oh, he's a reporter. You heard it here first. Hush, hush. <laughs> hush, hush. Magazine. Officer Bud White. Guy's been out of queue two weeks. Oh, he's watching him since he's been released. A domestic dispute. Have Central send a prowler to parole violation assault arising from a family dispute. We won't be here, but they'll see him. Uh oh, he's meddling. <laughs> he's got his attention now. Who in the hell are you? Ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> what kind of smart ass. Oh, he's kicking the crap out of him. If you touch her again, I'll have you violated on a kitty rubber beef. You know what they do to kitty rubbers and Quentin. I know what they do to them. He's like a Batman. <laughs> Sergeant Jack Vincent. I'm the um, technical advisor. I teach Brett Chase how to walk and talk like a cop. She's from Hush Hush Magazine. Hello, Karen. Hello yourself. <laughs> she doesn't like him. Peace last year, Anjanou Dykes in Hollywood. Her name got mentioned. Oh, she didn't like that. Any publicity is good publicity, right? You pinch him, I do you up nice feature next issue. Plus usual 50 cash. No, I need another 50. Jackie, it's Christmas. No, it's not. It's felony possession of marijuana. <laughs> Sergeant Ed Exley. Son of the legendary Preston Exley. Why become a cop? I like to help people. We heard two officers were assaulted this evening. What do you think about that? It goes with the job. Captain Smith. Oh, drop the formalities, Bobby. Ooh, this guy. I saw the test results on the lieutenant's exam. What'll it be then? I was thinking Detective Bureau. You have the eye for human weakness, but not the stomach. You're wrong, sir. Would you be willing to plant corroborative evidence on a suspect you knew to be guilty in order to ensure an indictment? No. Would you be willing to shoot a hardened criminal in the back in order to offset the chance that some lawyer... No. Then, for the love of God, don't be a detective. But I don't need to do it the way you did. Or my father. At least get rid of the glasses. I can't think of a single man in the bureau who wears them. Nobody looks good in them. Is Dudley corrupt? Uh-oh. One of the corrupt cops. If I ever get held up, you guys better be here. I need a delivery. They're introducing a lot of characters real fast. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, officer. She's so perfect for the timepiece. See what he wants, Buzz. Did she just get a nose job or did she get beaten up? Ah! I got a license for that. Cut me some slack. I used to be a cop. Leland Meeks, never heard of you. They call me Buzz. You got the wrong idea, mister. I'm fine. But it's nice to know you care. He's on a mission. He wants to take down all the wife beaters <laughs> and scumbags. You know it? Uh-oh. He used to be a cop. <laughs> he really pissed them off. <gasps> oh, he's going to do some spying. Yeah. I'll stop right here. You get oh. the movie premiere in the background. Oh. Freeze! Police! <laughs> what just fell out? Fleur de lis. Whatever you desire. <laughs> I'll take that. You guys. Hey, hey, what are you doing hey, here? Hey, you know me. I'm keeping the streets safe, boys. Jack, party's upstairs. Okay, I'll be right up. Next thing. Uh, no thanks, Jack. You keep your payoff. Mexicans, sir. The ones who assaulted Brown and Helenowski. They think they're the ones that beat up the cops. Oh, really spiking that. They brought the Mexicans in. They're downstairs. Oh, no. They're going to go beat them up, aren't they? No. Hey, Stensland, the party's upstairs. He's not going to be able to stop them. This is for ours, Pancho. Get Stensland, do nothing. Get back! Get back! Yeah, and fuck your mother! Fuck you! Oh, wait, no. he's butt beating him up. 
Oh, oh no. Now they're all getting involved. Oh no. Well, aren't the cops going to get in trouble for all of this? Probably not. Bloody Christmas. <laughs> Officer, why you should know this is bigger than a police board. Indictments may be handed down. Will you testify? No, sir, I won't. You and Officer Stencil and brought the liquor to the station. Sir, I won't testify against my partner or anyone else. What if they force you to? Don't you have You're to? You're suspended from duty. <gasps> Dismissed. I'm asking if justice has to be served. Of course I'll testify. He's such a goody two-shoe. <laughs> the public will expect the department to protect its own and sweep this under the carpet. Shift the guilt to men whose pensions are secured. Force them to retire. Oh. So indict, try, and convict Richard Stensland and Bud White. <gasps> Your new LAPD will not tolerate officers who think they're above the law. Ruthless. Dick Stensland. He's had rotten fitness reports from every CO he's ever served under. <laughs> But Bud White is a valuable officer. White's a mindless thug. He's just a man who can answer yes to those questions I've asked you from time to time. <laughs> Eye roll. <laughs> I'll promote you. Detective Lieutenant. Ed, you're 30. Your father didn't make Lieutenant until he was 33. So? I think it would look better if we had a corroborative witness. Jack Vincennes. He hit one of the Mexicans and he saw the whole thing. Jack's the technical advisor on Badge of Honor. That's the way to get to him. He has some serious plans. But are you truly prepared to be despised within the department? Exactly. Yes, sir, I am. He feels like what he is doing is right. But we have a stellar witness who will name names and also testify that you hit back. No thanks, I'm not a snitch. I'll guarantee you a slap on the wrist. When you transfer out of ice, you'll be back on the show. Oh, it did get to him. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. <gasps> Okay, I'll do it. He'd rather be on this show than be a than not be on the show. Oh, if looks could kill. And so it goes, Detective Lieutenant. Oh, he got that promotion. Sit at the grand jury tomorrow, son. And Ed, lose the glasses. <laughs> oh, what is he gonna say to him? What's the chief throwing you? I'm just doing my duty. Come on, you're playing an angle here, college boy. Next to you, I'm clean and smart. Yeah, cops are serious. And remember, Bud White will fuck you for this if it takes him the rest of his life. <laughs> he will. Yeah, cops, like, do not like snitches. I admire you as a policeman, particularly your adherence to violence as a necessary adjunct to the job. <laughs> what do you want? They're yours. What about Stensland? Your partner's through. Departmental scapegoat on the chief's orders. A year from his pension. No. Oh. Exley. Exley made his play and got what he wanted. The department needs smart men like Exley and direct men like you. You'd be working out a homicide. You'll do as I say and ask no questions. Do you follow my drift? In technicolor, sir. <laughs> Meet Tony Brancato and Anthony Trombino, two rising lieutenants in the Mickey Cohen rackets. Oh no, I'm scared. Someone gonna get shot. Oh yeah, it just had that written all over it. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> oh shit. They got hit. Mickey Cohen men slain. Meet Deuce Perkins, Mickey Cohen's narcotics lieutenant. <gasps> They're gonna get hit too. He didn't have enough time to get down. There's a lot of drugs. I'll take that. Cohen drug lieutenant killed in Brentwood home. <sighs> With Mickey Cohen in prison, Los Angeles is organized crime free. A victory motel. Now in Cleveland, you're an organized crime associate. <laughs> There's the muscle. <laughs> oh, tell me, what do you want? We want you to go home. Look who's back from suspension. Here, Jack. I really like the use of the light in this film. Is some place you'd rather be, Vincennes? Yeah, I work in narcotics, looking for Mickey Cohen's missing H. Make a major case, Sergeant. It's the only way you're getting out of here. Yeah, he's feeling the heat a bit here now. That's the same sign we saw earlier, the fleur de lis. What in the hell is that all about? Look, a friend of mine just gave me this number, and I just wanted to find out if there was... Oh... A secret society, a secret club, a sex club. Jackie! Hey, you back on Narco? I need some good copy. No, but I do have some going with Vice. What do you know about Fleur de Lis? Slogans, whatever you desire. Now, 
no, no, I've heard Bupkis. <laughs> oh, buddy, he's not going to get his pension. Good man. We're going to miss you around here. Those cops are choked. Oh, well, he did everything for himself. <laughs> oh, he's going to be taking a lot of heat from now on. It's going to be a rough place at the office. <laughs> Stay out of trouble, bud. I got a couple hours before I have to be at the victory. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Bring check, come on. Now nah, I got a hot date. It's like that magazine that Vincennes scams for. Hush, hush. Hmm. Oh, no. He's going to get into a bit of trouble. Literally has to watch his back. <laughs> Put his glasses back on right away. Great set deck. This is film noir, but it's shot really modern. Lieutenant Exley. You got a homicide. Downtown division. The Night Owl coffee shop. First one on the call. First one there. Sir, at least one person's dead. I stopped for coffee. The Night Owl's closed. No one it's comes through the front door. This place got, get shoot up? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he tried to protect himself with his own gun. Oh, they got robbed. Shouldn't there be another body there? Did they get dragged? What? Oh, God. Tell me they're not alive. Tell me they're not and they're going to shoot at him. Oh, the, the music is amazing. The sound editing. Oh, my. Oh, what? I took the call. It's my case. You don't want it, Edmund, and you can't have it. This is a big one. Big homicide. What the F happened? We got a total of 15 spent 12 gauge Remington shotgun shells. We got an idea on one of the victims. It's Dick Stenslin. <gasps> Was he out on his hot date? Oh. Hell of a way to avoid a prison sentence. Let's get caught up with the wrong crowd. Appears three men held up a coffee shop. Then they took everyone else out back and killed them too. It seems like my season, but my season was a blonde, not a redhead. That's the girl that was in the car. We fought. I didn't like her boyfriend. I. She got a nose job, so she can't recognize her. Yeah, right there. She has a birthmark on her hip. Oh, no. Oh, that is so sad. Especially because they had a fight the last time they saw each other. And yeah, she got caught up with the wrong guys. What in the hell? This is a heinous crime that requires swift resolution. We do have one hot lead, so listen well. Three Negro juveniles. No. A park ranger ID'd them as driving a 1948 to 1950 Mercury Coupe maroon in color. They're just framing all the wrong people, like what they did with the Mexican guys. Interrogations will be led by Lieutenant Edmund Exley. What? No. Oh, <laughs> no, they don't want it. Gentlemen, just go out and get him. Use all necessary force. I don't trust these guys at all. No, don't trust them. Well, was she just trying to, like, become famous? Is that why she was changing her face? She, like, trying to become an actor in Hollywood? What are you doing? That's the same sort of thing that got you in trouble last time. I'll take those out. Is he going to go with him? I mean, the two of you guys, you should bring along the photographer. <laughs> I need an address on a customer of yours. Her name is Lynn. I think you already know who I mean, so cough it up. Yes, because she knew that girl with the guys when he went to go get the alcohol. What is she going to know? Is she like a ringleader of some sort? She was getting a lot of alcohol, remember? He said some party there, miss. Oh, whoa, fancy. Someone playing golf? <laughs> yep, it's a couple chips. Are you Pierce Patchett? I am. Oh, are you soliciting for police charities? Ooh. Where were you last night? I was here hosting a party. Tell me about Dick Stensman. I don't know him. How about Sue Leffert? You know her? You know I do. You saw me with her. How did you find me? This is where Lynn Bracken's booze bills go. Oh. Sue Leffert's died at the Night Owl. I'm investigating. He's really on to something on this case. Buzz Meeks no longer works for me. Means he's dead. You're a known associate of a woman killed in a mass murder. You want to go downtown and discuss this officially? Somehow I have the feeling this is more personal with you, Mr. White. Yeah, he really doesn't like women getting killed. I mean, no one does, but it's like he has some sort of vendetta. Why were Leffert's eyes black? I needed a Rita Hayworth to fill out my little studio. Lynn Bracken is my Veronica Lake. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I employ a plastic surgeon. 
Ah. That's why her mother couldn't ID her. Jesus Christ. Exactly. If you persist, I'll meet you with my attorney. Now, would you like Lynn Bracken's address? I don't think she knows anything. I got her address. Now find Susan's killer, Mr. White. I'll give you a handsome reward. It was one of his girls. You probably spent a lot of money on her. Whatever you desire. <gasps> oh! What is Lynn going to know, though? A lot. Okay, oh, did he give her a heads up? Oh, so they are they all call girls for whatever you desire? And then they all look like celebrities. Okay. Miss Bracken, I'm Officer White. I've been expecting you. Everything all right, doll? <laughs> you want me to get rid of him? Okay. <laughs> all right, get the fuck out of here. I'll call your wife to come get you. <laughs> that scared the shit out of him. He's out of there. Officer. Councilman. <laughs> okay. I just love the tones and the lighting in this movie. It's amazing. Great camera work as well. I was friendly with Sue Lefferts. But we weren't friends. And why was Susan Lefferts at the Night Owl? I don't know. I never heard of the Night Owl till today. Who came on a bus with dreams of Hollywood, and this is how they turned out. That's a sad story that happens to people, you know? Don't ever try to bribe me or threaten me, or I'll have you and Patchett and shit up to your ears. I wonder if something happened to, like, his mom or his sister or something, and that's why he has this personal vendetta. First man in five years who didn't tell me I looked like Veronica Lake inside of a minute. <sighs> look better than Veronica Lake. Oh! Oh my gosh, she got teary-eyed there. That really meant a lot to her. He had you cut to look like Veronica Lake. No, I'm really a brunette. But the rest oh. is me. Oh, wow. I'd like to see you again. Are you asking me for a date or an appointment? <laughs> Your first Forget date. I asked. It was a mistake. Oh my gosh. They had really amazing moments in that little scene there. Oh, they had a connection! They had a real true connection. He hit her and she hit him back. Let bid well. Come on down here and talk to us. You got a brother up in Folsom, I know, because I put him there. Till 1970. How'd you like to make it 1960? <gasps> oh. But Lieutenant Exley here is very good friends with the DA. Yeah. Looking for three colored guys who like to pop off shotguns. One of them owns a maroon mercury coupe. You want to give me a snitch jacket? You want to buy your brother 10 years? He's bad, so I'll just tell you. Sugar Ray Collins drives a Maroon 49 coupe. Don't know about shotguns. You do anything for a family member, right? About my brother. Keep it up, Lenny. Up. You just freaking lie to him like that? They lied to him. One of ours. Shit. Somebody beat us here. Oh, no. Glasses. He can't see without his glasses? Well, just don't shoot me. <laughs> Christ. What are you guys doing here? Oh, we were just in the neighborhood. What do you got? I got three 12 gauge pumps, an empty box of double odd buck. Ah, uh, that looks placed there. Badge of honor, here I come. Hey, fuck you, Vincent. This is our collar. Quiet. I'm ranking officer here. We go as a team. End of story. Yeah, are they gonna kill an innocent person? <laughs> he blocked him from shooting him. Don't kill them. Oh. So, how's it feel getting out of the office? <laughs> These guys killed Stensland. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to be in here to listen to them talk because I want to know who freaking killed my partner. I don't think these guys did it. This the whole dirty cop thing. Same old story. Section marks on the shells fired from the suspect shotguns are identical to the marks on the shell casings found at the night owl. The night stewing ought to have softened them up. I don't trust you, Dudley. You're behind this all. I just, ugh, I'm frustrated. And then he's also using Pierce. Are you sure Golden Boy is up to the task, Cap? Oh, I think you'd be surprised what the lad is capable of. You're 22, aren't you, Rick? You play a good cop? Well, Sugar Lewis told me you went sissy up with casitas. You couldn't do the time, so you got yourself a big white boy to look after you. Lewis gave it up with casitas, man. And I was the... Boy, my dome. Lewis was the <laughs> oh, he's letting him in on what he's saying. We got the shotguns right. I don't own no shotguns. Have you throwing clothes in the backyard incinerator? I ain't got shit to say till I see a judge. Give me one to feed the DA, and I'll say Sugar Ray's not a punk like his sissy partners. Tell me one more thing about Jones and Fontaine. Where do they get their drugs? 
oh my God, I can't believe he's doing this. They hear him snitching. God, he's playing everyone so well. I'm talking about the gas chamber. You haven't even asked me what this is about. You got a big guilty sign around your neck. They must have been up to something different. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he wet himself because he's so scared. You said the night owl was your idea. I think it was Ray's idea. <clears throat> you talk, I think I can save your life. I didn't kill nobody! <laughs> Admit what you did. I didn't mean to hurt her. She's okay. <laughs> I just wanted to lose my cherry. She don't die, so I don't die. Who are you talking about? Was she at the night owl? This poor kid. Oh my god, he's scared. Did you kill her? You wanted Lewis to lose his cherry, but that wasn't enough. So things got out of hand and you made her bleed. So you burned the clothes. I told you that! If that girl is still alive, she's the only chance you've got. I think she's alive. You think? <laughs> tell me where she is! Move! <laughs> Where's the girl? Sylvester Fitch, 109 Avalon, Brown Corner House. So did he get them to confess about something completely different and not the night owl? Nobody moves. The rest of us are going in through the front. My God, I can't believe he's going in there alone. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my god, she's just being held hostage and raped. There's something else going on here. She just let him know that there's people in there because she gave him a nod. <laughs> Is he just gonna frickin' kill him? <laughs> Didn't even question this guy. <laughs> Jesus. That little kid just wanted to lose his virginity, or they made him. Oh, you're just gonna ask her what happened? I couldn't even imagine this torture that that woman's been through. I realize this is difficult. Give your career a rest. A naked guy with a gun? You expect anyone to believe that? Get the fuck away from me. Justice. You don't know the meaning of the word, you ignorant bastard. <gasps> Why don't you go after criminals for a change instead of cops? Stenzlin got what he deserved, and so will you. Oh. oh. <laughs> they just have completely different viewpoints on justice. She should stay away from them altogether. Repeat, the night owl suspects have escaped. How did they get out the window in the first place? What? <laughs> they got out of the police station? He must be like jaded or feel like he has something to prove because his dad was this like detective. But his moral compass is so much different than White's. They just seem like they've come from two opposite sides of the coin and they both have their own reasons and their own self-righteousness. Oh! What? Nothing. Let's go. He doesn't have his glasses again for sakes it's because they keep making him take his glasses off so he probably misplaces them Nobody moves. stay right there you're under arrest but don't shoot me don't shoot he won't shoot you oh the poor kid oh god oh my god he blew him out the window I guess he's opening fire because they open fire on him. Oh my god! Do anything to escape, I guess. He's seeing action now. Did he get him? Maybe the first man he killed in the line of duty. He did good, kid. Who would have thought? Shotgun head. <laughs> Shotgun head. <gasps> oh no, he's in shock. I don't think he's super happy about that. Recently, he had been spectacular bravery in the line of duty. Medal of Valor. Hey, Big Jack! He's back! <laughs> He's back! Cheese, please! Is White watching her? <gasps> he has so much sadness in him. <laughs> she knows her there. <laughs> but after due consideration, I am changing my position on the matter before the council. Yep, because he was just bribed. Go back to Jersey, Sonny. This is the city of the angels. There's so many things going on at once. <laughs> it's, I feel like it's very complex with like all of these characters. And I just feel like something crazy is going to happen. 
Dudley, just these little shots of you and your eyes and the way you look. I just don't trust you. He's going to go in there, isn't he? I wondered when you might knock on my door again, Officer White. It's bad. He gets a special bedroom. The upstairs bedroom? Isn't that where she's from? Why me? Something honest in your sadness. Something that he had said to her. He was the first one that didn't say she looked like Veronica Lake. I appreciated her for her. His smirk is just so menacing. You're up to no good. How the hang it, Sid? Down around my ankles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to throw me off the force last Christmas as a little joke. How about some payback, big time? Remember Matt Reynolds, Christmas Eve? The movie? Yeah. I'm getting him to fuck the DA for 100. Have we uh, met before? <laughs> he doesn't remember. Who's on that dope? <laughs> Flirt Lee party, right? <gasps> right. Dope hookers that look like movie stars. Oh god, this kid is young and dumb. Uh, you know, uh, I don't think I should do this. Let's go on over there and pretend it's an acting job. No. <laughs> They're just using this poor kid. I guess when he said that DA comment earlier, he was just like, he was kind of showing him how they like played that type of game. <laughs> What's Vincennes going to uncover? When hearts are lighter, so Wow. He just left that 50. A lot of money back then. Kid. Oh, no. They killed him. Oh, somebody slit his throat. Oh, poor kid. Oh. Oh, my God. You remember what time the Negroes left you, right? He's not going to let this one go. Will anyone care that they raped a Mexican girl if they hadn't killed those white people at the night house? Mm. I did what I had to do for justice. <sighs> I'm going back in a couple of years. Open up a dress shop. Shit. She has everything all planned out. She probably just wants to make a bit of buck. When I was 12, my old man went after my mother with a bottle. I got in the way. There it is. So you saved her. Not for long. Oh, God, he lost his mom. No wonder why he's so passionate about all these wife beaters and women beaters. I watched him beat my mother to death with a tire iron. <gasps> what? Three days before a truant officer found us. They never found the old man. That's where all his sadness lies, all his regrets, everything. He probably blames himself for his mom dying because he didn't stop his dad. I could get a chance to work homicide like a real detective. That prick actually, he shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed Stensland is still around. I know it. Mm -hmm. Me too. I know it. Just can't prove it. That's all. I'm not smart enough. <laughs> you found Patchett. You found me. You're smart enough. You're just something that... We're all missing. We're missing something, unless she knows. I got a couple of night owl questions. Don't know if you read the papers, but that case is closed. We'll reopen it. Anything bother you about it, Ray? Yeah, the fact that the packup boys haven't hauled this shit out of here yet. <laughs> Was it the police? It had to have been the police. Because if they had the guns and they were planting them in the coop. Oh, he's going to notice something. That is Stensland's blood. Took a blow to the head. Was probably unconscious when they dragged him in the john. No, but he was a cop. He probably tried to do something. Someone sitting next to him. I have a lipstick mark on the cup. Patty DeLuca, the night shift waitress, and a Susan Lefferts. Susan Lefferts. Well, she was the one with those two other cops. Buzz, right? Oh, he's going to talk to her mom. Here we go. I told you I didn't approve of that boyfriend. He was too old for you. What was the boyfriend's name? Look at a picture for me. That's him. <laughs> and then Mrs. Jensen said they kept going under the house. Oh, fa. What is under there? Guns or something? They stashed drugs? <sighs> Don't mind the oh, smell. God, I please. think a rat died behind the wall. Oh, no. There's someone dead back there. Who's it going to be, though? This mother is just so out to lunch. Oh, no. <laughs> God, God damn it. Looks like the guy from Tales from a Crypt. Is that one guy that he saw in the car? You're going to get on the homicide team for sure now, Detective Leland Meeks. Yep. They call me Buzz. Yeah. But why'd they kill him? Was it a rat? <laughs> no! Got one with the Los Angeles Police Department. 
Is he not going to tell anybody yet? Is he going to still do some more undercover digging and then find out? He doesn't feel like he won the Medal of Valor because he knew he was on to something else. Anything bothering you about the uh, Night Owl case? <laughs> no, he's coming down asking the same questions. Bud White grilled me on it this morning. Bud White? You know, he's not as dumb as I thought. <laughs> He'd like to hear that. Oh no, this lady is going to be in for it when she finds out that her daughter was mixed up and they she allowed these guys to plant a dead body. Officer White already checked out of the house. <gasps> oh, he called it in. Of course he did. Vincennes, I need your help with something. I need someone outside of homicide. I want you to tail Bud White till he goes on duty this evening. Do you make the three Negroes for the night owl killings? Why in the world do you want to go digging any deeper? Rolo Tomasi. Is there more to that, or am I supposed to guess? Rollo was a purse snatcher. My father ran into him off duty, and he shot my father six times and got away clean. No one even knew who he was. I just made the name up to give him some personality. Oh. Rollo Tomasi's the reason I became a cop. I wanted to catch the guys who thought they could get away with it. It was supposed to be about justice. Then somewhere along the way, I lost sight of that. Mm. Why'd you become a cop? We all are getting asked this question. I don't remember. <gasps> It was the same answer as Bud. I just want to solve this thing. I want to do it right. Even if it means paying the consequences? Mm -hmm. All right, college boy. He's in. I love that we're getting all these backstories, Ed's and Bud's, like, almost parallel in the story. It's amazing. Who's going to solve it first? Are they all going to solve it at the exact same time? Yeah, they're all in the same tale right now. So this is going to be really interesting. What do I get if I give you your balls back, you wop cocksucker? <laughs> He's got some good lines in this. A meat channel line on a large supply of H. Always comes down to the drugs. He skipped out. No, he didn't. He got killed. Hmm. Great shot. How would a two-bit hick like Meeks get his hands on a large supply of heroin? Even if he did, he could never unload it. Maybe that's why he's under a house in Elysian Park. They use the girls to move the drugs? Are they gonna get some photos of this? Ooh, they're both there. Well, you don't know the connection that they've formed. We got Rita Hayworth at the morgue, and now Veronica Lake with White. I think your case and my case are somehow connected. Lou to Lee again. Since when do two-bit hoods and hookers give out autographs? What did you say to me? A hooker cut to look like Lana Turner is still a hooker. She is Lana Turner. What? <laughs> oh, that's such a good smile from Spacey. <laughs> he loved seeing him get embarrassed there. <laughs> look, he's still grinning. I'm glad Ed had a laugh. We want some answers, Patrick. Well, we all want something. Guys, as cool as they come. Oh, they're calling him on the radio. What's going on? The coroner wants to talk to you, Lieutenant. He says he has your ID. Tell him Sergeant Vincennes is coming in to talk to him. Where the hell are you going? Lynn Brackens. Oh, they, he doesn't know. Yeah, because he took his ID, so they don't know that it's Buzz. Hush, hush, off the record. He's getting the scope. Stiff used to be a cop, Leland Meeks. Buzz Meeks? Just the facts. <laughs> That's from the TV show. Yeah, Leland Meeks works twice, 39 to 41. I need to see his arrest records. Hmm. Oh, no. Miss Bracken, I'm Lieutenant Exley. Bud told me all about you. I see Bud because he makes me feel like Lynn Bracken and Nuts and Veronica, like lookalike who fucks for money. I see Bud for all the ways he's different from you. Don't underestimate me, Miss Bracken. The way you've underestimated Bud White. He's really like intrigued by her. Yeah, he was like really turned on. Fucking me and fucking Bud aren't the same thing, you know. Stop talking about Bud White. God. <gasps> They're screwing him. That's why she's screwing him. That's what the phone call was. He couldn't resist her. Jack Vincennes. It's important. That's a good thing for you, my wife and four fair daughters are at the beach in Santa Barbara. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you remember Buzz Meeks? Straight D fitness reports from every CEO he ever served under. What about him? That's right. That's what he said earlier. A blackmail scam. Patchett had Sid Hudgens photographing prominent businessmen with hookers. He figured it out. You were the supervising officer on that case, and I was wondering if you remember anything about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. And he's home alone. Is he going to kill him? You're a narco, Jack. Not homicide. Since when do you work with Edmund Axley? Well, it's a private investigation. <laughs> Don't start trying to do the right thing, Boyle. You haven't had the practice? 
Or maybe he doesn't know he's figured it out yet. He's literally here just to ask him honestly, but he hasn't put two and two together yet. What does Lexley make of all this? No, I haven't told him yet. I just came straight from the record room. Oh, f Yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> oh, God. He is a goddamn dirty cop. I knew it. Oh, what a good death scene. Oh, the way he's acting at the death. laugh come on kevin spacey's such a good freaking actor what are you gonna do with his body now what are you gonna do i knew you were dirty oh this was killed by a 32 slug to the heart time of death approximately 1 a.m shame on you dudley i want two man teams to scour that entire neighborhood our justice must be <sighs> swift <laughs> you son of a bitch i just knew with those like camera shots of him in his face and i just knew i just knew we're trying to run down a lead on an associate of Vincennes. What's the name? Rolo Tomasi? Oh, f Yes! 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 That's why he's told him this! No. No, I haven't. Oh, f He said that so he would know that it's him! <laughs> what an idiot, Dudley. You are an idiot. That's why he said it, and that's why he laughed. Vincennes! The frickin' hero! I could use your fearsome habits at the Victory Motel. Now, when? Now, Wendell. Now he's like setting up something so he can kill all these guys, isn't he? You're a bit of a puzzlement to me these days, Wendell. You don't seem to be your old cruel self anymore. You have your extracurricular activities, and I have mine. What, because he knows he's been with Lynn? We're gonna brace a man who may know who killed Jack Vincennes. No. Can I count on you, lad? Yes or no? Yes, sir. He's not as tortured anymore because he's opened himself up with Lynn. He's softened up a little bit. Start with the idea on the corpse. The next cop, Leland Buzz Me. Well, Dudley's gonna die. That's clear. I'm willing to cooperate. There's no need to tie me down. Now, what can you tell us about Sergeant Jack Vincennes? This is my best friend. <laughs> oh, backhand. I got him first class college. He got me good stories. We were friends for Christ's sake. I love these upward angles on him. <laughs> Makes him look so tough. And look at that shadow on his face. And? And what? Whoa, there goes his kneecap. He runs call girls. Primo tail fixed up to look like movie stars. But he knows this already. Blackmail shit in my car. Patchy got me to photograph this cop screwing this gorgeous slut named Lynn. The lake. <laughs> it's personal now. He's gonna see the photos now. It's gonna break his heart because it's with him. I wouldn't trade places with Edmund Exley right now for all the whiskey in Ireland. I thought you were gonna let the dumb bastard kill me. Learn to pull your punches a little better. <gasps> They're gonna kill him anyways, aren't they? No! You and me and Patrick, we're a team. We're throwing the <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, he knew. Hush, hush. <gasps> oh my god, Dudley, I hate you right now. <laughs> god, everyone is plotting and goddamn scheming in this movie. Oh, does she feel bad? I mean, he can't be mad because she's a working gal, but he's going to take this one a little bit more personally, I think, because it was Ed. Oh no. <gasps> oh, look at him. Oh, she's also crying. <gasps> Can we talk to Exley? Coming out of she probably had to because Pierce probably made her for the photograph. You fucking... Did she? I can't believe he freaking hit her, but now he's not gonna be able to forgive himself for that. But he was so, he feels so betrayed and she feels like she betrayed him, but she thought she was helping him. Oh my God. At least she didn't lie to him. It's her job. You can't be mad at her. It doesn't take away what they have. I can see how he'd be so hurt. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Why I'm glad you're here. You guys are on the same side though. You guys are on the same side, but he is so mad. <gasps> He's like, this is my girl. Wait. He's 
probably not going to forgive himself because he doesn't want to turn into his dad. Oh my god. No, you guys are so close to uncovering everything and they pitted you guys together. Dudley killed Jack. He wants you to kill me. <gasps> he figured it out. He showed you the photo, didn't he? Oh, maybe he knew what he was doing. God damn you, savior! Oh! I checked the daily report books. Dudley, Buzz Meeks, and Stensland go way back. I know Stensland lied to me. Yeah, he figured that out. Leffert's mother ID'd Stensland as Leffert's boyfriend. Stensland pretended he didn't know Meeks or her the night that I met. Mm-hmm. But I think Stens killed Meeks over heroin. What heroin? He doesn't know about the heroin side. Honey Stompanato told me that Meeks had heroin for sale. It wasn't the Negroes. No. Some light in her statement. The first guys to the Mercury Coop were Bruning and Carlisle. They planted the shotguns. Exactly. They might have killed the Negroes too if Jack and I hadn't shown up. Dudley framed them because they were Negroes and had records. Yeah, because he's a son of a bitch. Somehow this is all connected to Jack's angle. If we're going to figure this out, we need to work together. Yeah, you need to turn it all on Dudley and trick Dudley. Why are you doing this? The night Al made you. You want to tear all that down? He wants to do the right thing. With a wrecking ball. <laughs> yes. Let's go see Alice Lowe and find out what the district attorney knows. Sometimes guys just need to like fight it out. Get those emotions out, you know? Nothing personal. <laughs> This guy's in on it too. That's why they like went ahead with his plan at the beginning. I want you to get a judge to authorize wiretaps on their home phones. On what evidence? Call it a hunch. <laughs> what do they have on you, Lowe? Pictures of you and Matt Reynolds with your pants down? <laughs> the proof had his throat slit. So far, you're not denying it. I have a press conference for Jack and Sands that I have to prepare for. They got you. And you're running away with your tail between your legs. Unless you came here to wipe my ass. I believe we're through. Yeah. Ah. Oh my good God. Oh my God. I was gonna make him confess. What are Dudley and Pat's it up to? They're taking over Nikki Cohn's rackets. Yeah, because of all that heroin. Is that how you used to run the good cop, bad cop? <laughs> Patch it. <laughs> I wonder if he's hightailed it and he's out of there. Maybe he already has been warned. Did he overdose? What? Suicide note. Slicing himself open wasn't his idea. Was Two of his fingers were broken. They must have held him there. Yeah, it was Dudley that killed him. They drugged him. Oh, his blood on the floor on the carpet. Oh, on the rug. Wow. He sent you after me. Lynn. West Hollywood Sheriff. I love how they're buddies now, working together. I hope they didn't kill her. Hold her as Joan Smith. No one sees her unless I okay it. Somebody walked her over. She wouldn't say who. That was me. We should talk to Lynn. You do it. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna talk to Sid Hudgens. Compliment him on his performance at the Victory Motel. Yeah, it's too late. Are you okay? She's one tough broad. Bud hates himself for what he did. I know how he feels. Mm. Lynn, I need to know what you can give me on Dudley Smith. I've never heard of him. Unless Dudley has a street name, goes by something different. I guess she's not mad at him for hitting her because she feels bad for what she did. Somebody beat him to death and stole a bunch of files. Aw, Sid. He, you know, had his hand in kind of everywhere so he could get all of his scoops. Ended up getting him at the end. No, don't go alone. Unless... Ed Exley's already there. These performances have been absolutely amazing. The little moments that these actors have had have told such an amazing story. You called it. I thought Sid Hutchins was Hutchins is dead. They figured it out. It's too late. They're surrounding them. Oh, <laughs> the music is so good at building all this suspense. A lot of bad stuff happened here. It's as good a place as any for it to end. <laughs> Jesus. All I ever wanted was to measure up to my father. Oh. Now's your chance. Oh, yes. He died in the line of duty, didn't he? Now live in the line of duty or survive. The lighting in this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Shit. How many cops does Dudley have under him? <laughs> We're getting hammered. <laughs> Whoa. God, he's a brave sucker. Oh no, they're coming in from the other side. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
unleashing havoc on each other. Jesus. Oh no, is he whistling and calling in more guys? What? Someone coming in from the ground? Oh, I love the music. Oh, he's going that way. <gasps> Get him in the freaking knees. Oh. Oh. oh no, he got it. He got hit. Are these cops or are they mobsters? Like, who are they? <gasps> oh. I recognize all these guys. Gotta be cops. They thought they could take them, didn't they? But there's still probably one left and it's probably deadly. Where is he? Come out, you scumbag. No. No. <gasps> oh. oh no, I, I don't want you to die, bud. No, no, the door's right there. <gasps> Move! He saved him. He freaking saved him. Is he gonna try to negotiate with him to get him to come to the dark side? No, no. Who's it gonna oh, be? Tomasi. Who is he? You are. This is gonna buy him time for Bud to shoot him. You're the guy who gets away with it. Mm hmm. Jack knew it. So do I. <laughs> shoot him, Bud. Shoot him, Bud. <gasps> oh, he... oh, no. He's gonna keep him alive. He's not gonna let him get away with it. Not this time. Not this time, Rolo Tomasi. He know he's done. Oh, the sirens. Are you gonna shoot me? It's not gonna give you that luxury. Let me do the talking. After I've done, gonna make you chief of detectives. This is the new LA Police Department. Better not off himself. He's gonna off himself, isn't he? He can't handle the shame. Hold up your badge. So they'll know you're a policeman. He's gonna spin it onto him, isn't he? He had to do that, didn't he? He had to do it because he knew that he would have lied about it all and put the blame on him. <sighs> you think you can talk your way out of this, Lieutenant? No, I think I can tell the truth. Your golden boy is throwing his whole life away. What an amazing shot in this interrogation room glass. Wow. Did Bud survive? He couldn't have survived. Captain Smith admitted as much to me before I shot him at the Victory Motel. If we can get the kid to play ball, who's to say what happened? Maybe Dudley Smith died a hero. He's always working the frickin' angles with the press. You want to tell me what you're smiling about? A hero. In this situation, you'll need more than one. <laughs> Detective Lieutenant Edmund Exley, two-time Medal of Valor recipient. Cut her hair into Marilyn Monroe style. They're using me, so for a little while I'm using them. Come on. Is she leaving town? He's such an interesting character. Oh my God, he sur freaking survived! Oh my God! Look at them. Thanks for the push. No. Yeah. Some men get the world. <laughs> You're leaving. They're both going to Arizona. Start a new life. I think that movie's outstanding. That's probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. I probably missed a few things or whatever, but like, that's why you rewatch things. But what brilliant filmmaking. What a great script. What great characters. What great acting. Directing, cinematography, lighting. There's a modern version of a film noir. The score was awesome. <laughs> These actors in this movie, oh God, they just were able to say so much in like a little look and a little moment. And to me, this is what true acting is all about. I loved all the characters in this. We had three really different viewpoints, three different sets of morals with all the three male characters, Spacey, Pierce, and Crow. I just loved, loved how different they were, but how 
similar they were underneath it all. I love all of their acting. They have such chops. Like they're such good freaking actors that were able to bring these characters to life. I thought this was so well directed, so well executed from everything. Set deck, set design, coloring, tone, cinematography, sound, sound editing, acting, ensemble, the lighting, the lighting in this movie. Now I wish that I have seen way more oldies and way more film noirs, but this felt like a, a more modern retelling in a way. It felt like it was a homage to film noir without being like in black and white or shot exactly the same because I thought the pacing was actually quite good. Like it was just right. It was just right for this period piece. And ah oh man, I cannot wait to rewatch this. I can't wait to just study these characters a little bit more in the nuances of the film because it was so brilliant. I, I feel like this will get a little bit more richer watching it one more time, but I felt like I still followed it quite well. There's so many plots in this. There was so many subplots. I really tried to pay attention because I felt like there was so much going on. There was a lot of twists and turns they're kind of directing you this way and then you get that and you're like, holy shit. And I think that's also what made this movie so good because you never really knew. I feel like some of the plots, some of the storylines, I really kind of had an inkling at the beginning, but you really have to let this movie play out in order to really, really find out. Cause there was also a few twists where I was like, holy shit, I did not see that coming. And that is what you really want in a movie. I know I love to guess things, but to be truly unsure with such good payoffs. Like there was so many good payoffs in this movie. And yeah, I just thought it was such an incredible film. It's what storytelling is all about. And I am so thankful that you guys were here to watch this with me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love you guys so much. If you love movies like this one, don't forget to hit that sub, hit the like if you're feeling it. I know you are, cause you want a happy dance. <laughs> and you only get a happy dance if you subscribe. So don't forget to do that. And I will see you guys in the next reaction video. Ciao.